Huh? Hello gamers, I'm Mortuary and welcome back to another Arc Mystic Academy adventure on the Crazy Misfit server. And today, well today I think I will be doing some building, so I'm not quite sure how I will be doing. I might be doing this as a little montage or, or whatever, but uh, the main goal is to expand our base and start constructing uh, the production area below there. Now I did already do a few things, let me show you. I did a few things off camera. I brought uh, some crafting stuff upstairs, uh, put these up. These are only temporary so, temporary, so I don't really mind if they aren't really lined up perfectly. But my main goal is to make plenty of these large glass walls. Well, plenty. Yeah, I will need a few. So that's what I'm gonna get started with. Uh, I need for that, I need a lot more crystal. Luckily, resources are no longer, a, no longer a problem because I have plenty of uh, crystal in the area. So let's grab all the crystal we need. Uh, yes, I have some in the cauldron as well. I can pull this in, no problem. And let's say I will pull 20,000. There. Have enough anyway. Okay, this should allow me to make... Uh, Another 50? Well, that's a good start. Uh, there is something else I need. I will need a lot of those uh, glass... Uh, how are they called again? The glass uh, ceilings? I can, can only make one. No, maybe... Just maybe... Maybe I should even think about playing around with some of those, uh, what are they called? The triangle thingies downstairs. Uh, let me think about that for a minute and uh, yeah, think about it, think about it. So what else do I need? I need cementing pastes, of course I need cementing pastes. Let's pick uh, and 20,000. Ooh, and I will need a lot of metal too, metal ingots. But well, I have everything set up, so it should be fine by now. Let's pick 15,000. So this should allow me to make lots of glass uh, ceilings. Let's craft 100. I'm thinking, I, I was kind of thinking about using some of these... Uh, Ah, sloped glass. Yeah, I won't be able to use them. Actually, I should be able to use those. I'm going to be thinking about that. Maybe building some stuff with uh, with these. And yeah, let's just... This is a sloped glass wall, right? And this is a roof. I wonder what the difference is, but... We'll see. I need the ceilings. Well, let's craft a hundred. I don't care. I have plenty of materials anyway. There. That should be all the crafting. And let me now show you what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to... Well, I, I did already some... Some calculations. I left seven blocks open. And then I placed this... Uh, well, I didn't place it. It was already there. I changed the outline so I know that this is where I will be starting. And then I did the same thing for the other side. Seven blocks. And this, which means I will probably be removing everything in between here. So this will be the area that will go down one level. And one level will be... Oh, I hate that graphic bug you get with the resource crop plot thingies. One level down will be something like... Uh, it's not enough. It should be five, I think. At least. Let me have a closer look. Uh, yeah, let's say five or six, maybe. Mm, four should be able... 
Yeah, with four of them I should be able to get my Quetzal in. But that's just not high enough, so I will need five. Yeah, I will be going five dogs blocks down and I will see how that how that goes. So I already started here. Uh, I have to pay attention now because I removed this little ceiling here and I placed a stair up here. So one, two, three, four. And too bad I don't have any more stairs. But that's the idea. I will be bringing that down with stairs. And from there on, I will be uh, placing ceilings again. And uh, yeah, probably splitting everything up into different compartments for... Uh, I think I will, this side I will be using for uh, dinosaurs. I'm not sure, but I think I will be doing that. And this side will be the whole yeah production area. I already know that I built it way too big, but yeah, that's 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 how I roll. So uh, I think next up, I will have to wait until everything is crafted up and then I will be doing a little montage while we wait. Uh, I will be removing some of these ceilings and uh, yeah, getting ready to be able to place stuff. So I will be doing a little montage of that and I will be talking to you guys when I'm back with some more stuff. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water still my favorite place and I could come every year and it wouldn't change. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did some modifications, but uh, I've encountered my first few problems. So what did I do? I opened this area here and I made sure that I <laughs> I put up some, uh, some uh, how are they called, the, the sides to clearly indicate that, uh, watch out, this is a gap, otherwise I would be falling down and crashing onto the floor. And I don't really want that. So. That's what I've done. I opened up this area and I've added in some stairs. So these stairs will be used to uh, go to the lower part of the uh, building. But now I thought I would be able to place like, uh, for example, the big, these big walls, but I can only attach them to the top, not to the bottom. That's one problem. There is another problem. I thought I might be able to place some, uh, some ceilings up here. Nope, no can do, does detach. So what I will have to do is place default walls and bring those down. And then I had another issue, let me show you. So I thought maybe now I could place one of those ceilings down there, but I can't attach the ceiling to the bottom uh, one for some strange reason. So the way to fix that is to add another one below that and then I can place my ceiling. So now I have my ceiling, there we go. Now I can try to extend all that, but let me try to get it to the other side first. I will be putting that up, that up, that up, that up, and this one. And if I'm correct now, I should be able to place the large wall from here and then put in a small one up top and that should do the trick. Uh, not really what I expected. Uh, yes, and I'm starting to see why. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this one is attached to the inside of this block and not to the inside of this block. And that's probably what I'm going to have up here as well. Yep. 
<laughs> Let me check if I can fix that in some way or the other. Maybe I should just place it like that and press the E key to turn it inside out. No. This isn't working as I expected. But I can always put that one up, grab my demolish gun, pick that one up. Ah, I knew it was going to pick the wrong one. Anyway, doesn't matter. I can put this one back up here. It might actually be easier if I place them in that order. The only issue I have now is that they will match up with the outside, you see. Mm. <sighs> I don't really want that. I, I don't really like the look of that. So I'm going to be put, taking it back up. Oh. Oh. And fix it like this. I will be placing another ceiling right here. And then I should be able to place my wall on that side. Yeah, that should be that should be on the inside of that block up there and not on the inside of this block. So that should match up at the top, I think. Yes. It does look like it is matching up. Hmm. Not 100%. Let me check that again. Mm. Try to build down, but I can't build down with these, so I will have to do it with this one. How does that look from the top? You see, right now it doesn't really show up through this thing here. And that was kind of what I was hoping. So can I place this one now, below that? Huh. Nah, not really what I want. Mm. You see, this one is like... This isn't what I want, actually. That's why. Let's try that again. If I place a wall, a normal one, you see, it nicely lines up now, and if I would place a ceiling now, it will be a little bit lower than these, I think. I probably made a mistake on the other side. Uh, yes, I have to place another one, and then do it like this. <laughs> Look. So this doesn't match up 100%, I think. Or does it? Oh, yes, it does. It does. So, now I should be able to place a ceiling up here. And does that match up? Yes, then why is it acting so strange? Now, let's try again. Oh yeah, that won't work. I need another one. I'm just trying it out for now, since uh, it seems to be a little bit tougher than I expected. Okay, this should be it. And then if I place one like these up top... No. You see, it doesn't look exactly the same. You can hardly see the difference, but I see it. You see, there, the lower one seems to be a little bit higher than the top one. 
I remember having a similar issue with uh, when I was building my cathedral. But since I can't really place this one in another way, I am I'm probably out of uh, out of options. <laughs> I could always do it with uh, with just simple walls as well. I don't really need those big ones actually. So I'm going to be removing all this and continuing my build, speed everything up a little bit and I will get back to you guys once I have an update for you. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We dip our feet at the water's edge, and everyone would come along to meet us there. A competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We can swim all day and dance into the night But we're not coming home till the moonlight shines Till the moonlight shines Do 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 back with a little update and uh, well if you watched the <laughs> little montage you'll have seen that I had a little uh, problem sometimes with uh, with the demolition gun but luckily I didn't die I fell down two times I think or three times but yeah it uh, doesn't really matter so what did I do I opened up this area here I removed all the ceilings up top and I started building the lower part of the base uh, it is not finished yet and it won't be finished today since uh, well, that's about all the time I have for today. But I can give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. So I lowered this area. And I already placed all my ceilings up here. Uh, this is five blocks high. I might uh, I might bring this area one, one more block lower. And I will show you why in just a second. And then on this side I will have uh, all the necessary room for building. Uh, for the crafting area. Crafting stations will be in here, uh, maybe some uh, some bedrooms, maybe a little bar. We will see what we will be doing here. Maybe, yeah, dinner in the sky thing. Who knows? We, we can do lots of things. But this area here, this has been planned out to be five deep. And the, the main reason is 
Well, then I can, uh, for example, let me show you. Uh, I, if I jump on my Quetzal and I come from country far away after a long day, I come down and I fly into my base and I see my base rendering in, then I should be able to aim it correctly so that I can land in between those two. Hup, land, here we are. Yep, there we go. And from here on, I want to be able to get off or get on my saddle, get off and go into the little uh, building up there or jump down and go uh, to the bottom part. Now, for that, I will be needing to add some sloped ceilings up here so that I can easily travel in and out. Uh, the same on the other side. Possibly I can park two of those quetzals in here and uh, then I will be able to travel up and down quite easily. Um, why would I be lowering this one more uh, level? Well, maybe it, it's a little bit easier if it's one level deeper to, uh, to bring the birds in because from a distance it won't be all that clear that this is one open area. So from this point up until this point will be left open. So this will be one big gap and that will be where I will be uh, flying in with my uh, Quetzal and landing it here. And I, I'm thinking I'm, I will have to check that out and maybe ask some of the other crazy folks or creative misfits guys if I can borrow their uh, their uh, uh, dragon, their uh, wyvern and see if I can land my wyvern in here easily because I, I'm not quite sure if it will work. So maybe I would lower it one more level and then I have a little bit more room to uh, maneuver inside. Now I did uh, play around with uh, the borders of these uh, uh, S plus glass ceilings and I quite like what I have so far. Um, let me check. Uh, yeah, we'll have to remove this. Uh, this one will have to be on this side. Let me check. Uh, pick my model selector press the G to pick the model index and oh yeah I need this one as well G there we go uh, I think it's side C yeah done and now this one G okay I should be able to place that up until the end And next time I will be clearing those out. Now, what I was planning to do here is, uh, um, for example, let me finish this area and then I will explain it to you. Okay, and now I'm, I can tell you why I've been uh, placing those lines like that. Well, I was kind of hoping to, uh, to make some uh, landing strips like that. That way I know that uh, this is the area where I can land my birds in and I might probably extend this a little bit more in that direction so I have a little platform to land on before I enter the base. And yeah, I was kind of hoping of maybe putting some light or some decorations up here on these strips so that it's clearly visible during uh, during the night. Like for example, now it's, it's quite impossible to see anything. So I was kind of hoping to be able to light it up and that's why I did this stuff. Okay, well, um, next time, or I don't know if I will be making a video of the, out of that. If you would like to see me build this stuff, uh, then uh, post a comment down below and let me know uh, that you want to see me build stuff instead of uh, doing other things. But if you don't want to see me build, you can react as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just let me know if you want to see me build this or not. And then I will be recording uh, a next episode probably uh, pretty soon. So the goal is to have... Uh, the whole living quarters and production quarters up here. This is uh, the top side is where I will have my, well, where, where I already have my uh, resource crop pots. And this complete side here on the other side will be dinosaur storage. And I might extend that up until this platform down there. I'm not quite sure. I, I will see if I need all that room or not. But uh, this will be a uh, dinosaur storage area and I think I will have plenty of space. I can always ex extend it a little bit uh, upwards, upwards as well. But for now, this should be enough. Let me try to show you one more time. Oh yeah, I left this open and I put upstairs. Why? Because look, then I can easily come up with my Quetzal or other dinosaurs as well. So the goal is, come from here, 
and then I will be making my approach, final approach, and try to land in between those two. Yep, there we go. Land. Get off my saddle. Jump on that thingy up there and be able to get in the resource crop pot area or jump down and go to bed somewhere. So that's uh, that's going to be it for today. Let me... Uh, well, it will be quite difficult to make a screenshot up here. So I will be going up top and striking a pose somewhere and take you guys out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comment section below the video and uh, press the like button while you are there as well. And if you has, have comments or suggestions, you can always post those in the comment section below the video as well. And uh, that's also the place where you can tell me what you would like to see me do in my next video. Some more building, some more taming, whatever. Whatever you want, post it down there and I will see what I can do. While you are there, feel free to also check out the links to my social media channels. And if you want to support me, you can find the link to my Patreon page up there as well. And that's also where you'll find links to the other crazy folks and creative misfits guys. Go ahead and check out their channels too. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, uh, I guess that will wrap up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye. Bye.